In this video, I'll walk you through how to publish videos on Substack. If you have a video you'd like to share with your subscribers, you can either embed a video in a regular post or publish a video episode. First, I'll walk you through how to embed a video into a regular post. First, make sure you are signed in to your Substack account. Then on your publication dashboard, click New Post and select Post from the drop-down. On your new draft post, click on the video camera icon in the editor toolbar. From here, you'll have the choice to record or upload a video. Once you've recorded or uploaded a video, you can click the image icon on the video to add a thumbnail image. You'll have the option to upload a new image or select a still from the video. The video will appear in the body of the draft and can be moved by dragging and dropping the video within the draft. The video types accepted are 3GP, AAC, AVI, FLV, MP4, MOV, and MPEG-2. The recommended maximum size is 20 gigabytes. You can embed multiple videos within one post. Now I'll show you how to publish a video episode. With video episodes, you can automatically generate transcripts, share audio from the video directly to your podcast RSS feed, offer exclusive content to paying subscribers, and a free preview of paid videos to all viewers, and easily share clips of your video in a note or on social media. To publish a video episode, you can navigate to your publication dashboard and click New Post. You'll then select Video from the drop-down. In the draft post, click Record to record a video using your mobile device or laptop or select File to upload a video file. If you record a video, your webcam will appear on the page, and you may be prompted to allow your internet browser to access your computer's camera and microphone. Click on the red circle to start recording, and click on the red circle again to stop recording. If you upload a video file, the upload will automatically begin, and the episode settings dashboard will appear. The accepted video types are 1080p 2K or smaller, MP4, H.264 and AAC. The recommended maximum size is 20 gigabytes. While the video is processing, you can write text or edit your draft body. Processing times depend on the file size. To cancel the upload, click X next to the video upload on the episode settings page. The video will appear at the top of the draft post and cannot be moved. Select from the following icons. Settings icon. The episode settings page is where you can replace or delete the video, add a host or guest by name or email address, or generate a transcript. Lock icon. If you have payments enabled on your publication, you can edit and set a free preview of your video for free viewers. Download icon. Click on this icon to download any videos you've uploaded or recorded onto the post. Image icon. Here, you can set a thumbnail for your post by uploading an image or selecting a still from the video. Trash icon. Select this icon to delete the video from your post. Once you're ready to publish the video post, select Continue. If you have a Substack podcast setup, you'll see the option to add the audio to your podcast RSS feed and edit the episode notes. Toggling this on lets subscribers listen to the video audio on external podcast players. After adjusting your publishing settings such as selecting which audience can view the episode, adding tags, or selecting the post preview image, select Send to Subscribers Now. Now I'll show you how to create a free preview of your video post. Free previews offer free subscribers a taste of premium content. You can select a portion of your video to offer for free, which will also sync with the audio feed. First, click on the lock icon and select which part you'd like to be available to all viewers from the video timeline, then select Set Free Preview. After viewing the free preview, free subscribers will be prompted to upgrade to a paid subscription to view the full video. To edit a transcript, click on the Transcript tab and your auto-generated transcript will appear. Select the three dots and click on Correct Transcript and make your edits. Select Save to save any changes to the text. When you publish the video post, a collapsible transcript will appear on the post. To remove the transcript, slide the green toggle to the left next to show transcripts and captions on the transcript settings. If you'd like to add your own transcript to the video post, Select Upload Transcript on the Transcript tab. Formats accepted are .txt file, .vtt file, and .srt file. If you show the transcript on your post, 
the captions and timestamps will be synced to allow readers to easily navigate to different parts of your episode. Now, I'll show you how your viewers can create and share custom clips. These can be shared as links, directing traffic to the full video, or downloaded for sharing on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. To use the clipping feature, click on the Share menu on a web post next to the video. Select Download Clip. Select the clip of the video you'd like to share and click Download. Select the Subtitles icon if you want subtitles to appear in the clip. Your shareable clip will then be ready to be shared to social media. The clip will automatically be emailed to you. Subscribers can watch your videos with ease. Clicking on the CC icon enables closed captions or subtitles on your video episodes. Keyboard shortcuts for navigation such as Command plus K to pause the video and Command plus M to mute the video. Selecting the two screens icon allows viewers to watch videos in a floating window. Ability to share a specific timestamp in the video by hovering over the spot in the video timeline and clicking share from 0 hundred, 0. On your posts page, expand the video post to see detailed statistics, will show your video play count, hours watched, details about new subscriptions and how many times your post has been shared. I hope this video was helpful. For more resources you can visit support substack.com.